Hey guys, I hope you're doing very very well and the sessions are going on very very nice uh, and I hope that the video cases and the exercises you are receiving from my side are adding to both the fun and the value that you are deriving from this session. Here I am again with a new case, a new video exercise for you guys. It's very very interesting. Here it is. So for decades now, uh, marketers have been uh, arguing over different aspects of uh, consumer purchase decisions and one of that very interesting argument uh, goes like this. They argue on whether uh, the consumers make uh, their purchase decision based on logic uh, or based on emotions. So they argue whether the consumer is more of a rational consumer or uh, a more of an emotional consumer who buys on sentiments. There are arguments on both sides and both arguments are pretty convincing but one thing is for sure that we as consumers specifically Indian consumers are moving towards being more of irrational that is we are buying we are making our purchase decisions uh, based more on sentiments rather than logic and there are a few examples to justify this argument I will give you let's say two of these examples uh, one uh, let's discuss the case of the interesting case of mouthwash. I would uh, like you guys to think for a second and uh, uh, imagine yourselves in the place of a consumer when you go to uh, a shop uh, for purchasing a mouthwash. Uh, what color comes into your mind? Which color mouthwash would you generally pick? I am sure uh, most of you would say either blue or green because that is the color with which most of the mouthwash are uh, available in the market. Uh, now, logically, uh, the color of any disinfectant should be colorless. So, any disinfectant logically should be colorless because any color which is added to any liquid is nothing but an additive which might not be that good for your gums or your teeth, specifically your teeth because uh, it has to be, you know, uh, it has to be uh, additiveless. It should be uh, uh, something which does not involve any kind of uh, you know artificial colors. But somehow we are buying mouthwashes uh, which are of blue or green in color. So that is one example of uh, uh, you know a company or an organization or industry uh, influencing the consumers emotionally to buy something that is not logically justified. Another example comes from a very interesting brand called Dettol. You must be aware, you must, you all must be aware about that brand, RB Group. Uh, it came up with a campaign where, see, Dettol was uh, successful uh, from the time it was launched. But uh, at a certain point of time, they redesigned their campaign. And uh, uh, in addition to showing uh, Dettol as an antiseptic to, uh, you know, injuries, uh, they also started showing Dettol, Dettol liquid, as something which you can add to your bucket of water before bathing. Now, in their advertisement, when they uh, showed the drops of Dettol uh, getting into the bucket of water, there was a kind of foam that uh, erupts inside the water and they showed specifically that foam in their advertisement. Now somehow uh, the consumers were made to believe that that foam is very very healthy for your skin or it's it's a uh, indicator of water getting disinfected. Now there is no logic behind uh, that foam indicating the water getting disinfected but they influence the consumers emotionally uh, into believing that if you drop uh, your uh, the tall liquid in the water the uh, water gets disinfected which might be true but that logic doesn't get justified these are the two examples from my side now here is your exercise in the recent campaigns in the uh, in the brands which are campaigning recently on the emotional aspect of the consumer you have to work in the groups of let's say three or four i leave it to piyush to decide that identify five such campaigns which are solely based on influencing the consumers emotionally to buy that brand rather than logically promoting the product attributes that is the brands which are advertising emotionally rather than advertising themselves logically they are not telling you the benefits of the product the quality but they are influencing you emotionally to buy that product five such campaigns from each group you will list down these five uh, uh, brand campaigns uh, 
uh, and then you must discuss among yourselves and with Piyush sir. That's all from my side. We'll definitely discuss what uh, were the outcomes of this, uh, you know, uh, exercise when we meet next. Thank you. Have a very, very nice day.